So now I'm going to show you how to draft a pocket for the pant. This is going to be a patch pocket style, so it's, it's like a sticker. You just stick it on and you sew around. You'll need a ruler. I like to use a see-through ruler that has a grid um, so I know the measurements that I'm working with and it's very accurate. A pencil and an eraser because you might make a mistake. A hole punch and a piece of printer paper. I also have my cell phone here because I might want to put my cell phone in the pocket so it's the largest thing that I would want to put in there. So that's why I have that. The first thing you'll need to do is fold the pattern in half until the front edge and the back edge touch. Just put a small crease in it and then unfold it and we'll use this line as the reference for the side seam or where the side seam would have been. I'm going to just draw a line straight down just to any length. Um, and from here, the only other thing we need to worry about is this waistband. So at this edge, this is the seam allowance that's going to be folded down to create the waistband casing. Okay, so anything that is an inch below this line, we don't want to put the pocket in there because that's going to be scrunched up with the waist. So I want to draw a line that's one inch below this line here for reference. Okay, so now I have just a dotted line, which area I do not want to draft anything in because it's gonna be scrunched up with elastic. So from there, knowing that my pocket edge will probably be here, I want to put my cell phone in this imaginary pocket. So I just put my cell phone in there and now I know how large to make the pocket. So if this is going to be my opening, this is gonna be my bottom edge. So you want to have about, let's say that's about one and a half inches below this um, dotted line that I made here. And to the bottom, you'll want another inch as well. So just make a mark one inch below your phone and about one inch away from your phone on the other side. So we'll use that as sort of a guide. Now we get to design a little bit. So I don't like my pocket very pointy and square. So what I'm gonna do is just freehand a rounded curve. So that will be my style line for my pocket there. Now we can focus on the opening of our pocket. So with the pocket, I like to have some of the pocket stitched at the top so it doesn't gape open when the elastic is gathered. So I'm just going to follow this line for about two and a half inches. So right on that dotted line there, two and a half inches, and then make my opening. So I want my opening to come four inches down from this dotted line and connect with here. So I'm just going to go just like that. Now that I've got my pocket dimensions in place, you'll need one of these. So this is called a stiletto wheel or a tracing wheel, and it's got little pointy edges here. So I'll show you how this thing works. Put your piece of printer paper under your pocket and trace the outside edge with some force.
you might be able to see there's a dotted line right where I traced. So I can just use my ruler to go over that dotted line. So we're not done yet. There's only one more step we need to do. Um, with this pattern, you need seam allowance. Now you can see where your pocket is going to be placed on your pattern. We're going to take the pattern that we drafted and place it on the pant. I like to line it up with where the pant naturally folds on the side. So I'll just place mine there and make sure it's lining up with the stitched edge at the top. I have one patch pocket sewn on and I'll just repeat the steps to sew the other side. Make sure you like and subscribe below to catch all the new sewing tutorials.